So this weekend I did some more prototype machining for a Ford Focus ST short throw shift kit. So that's what I'm making. This product has been pretty much a work in progress the whole time because I don't have a Focus. So that's sort of what's hard for me to do is uh, manufacture or design and manufacture this part that I have no idea if it fits or not. So anyway, I heard that for every 10 Ford Focus cars that sell, only one Fiesta sells. So I was like, maybe I should start making a lot more stuff for the Focus because there's more of a market out there. So that's what I started doing. But in making this part, I had never tried the Taz. The Lakeshore Carbide, it's called the Aluminum Shredder, the Taz, and it, I totally underestimated it. I was in love with the Shear Hog for a while, and the Taz will just do a lot, like a bigger depth of cut, which is awesome. So that's what I enjoy about that. The Taz end mill, 3 8 end mill, is based on a, a corn cob style. So that means it's just a super duper heavy duty end mill. But it cuts a lot more aggressive than I thought it originally would, which is awesome. I had a problem when flipping over the part. Uh, the Superfly, I, I flipped it over and then wanted to face off that with the remaining stock. And it didn't work out very well with the Superfly. And I know this from the past, I should have been more conscientious. Conscience, conscience. I should have known that the Superfly would do this because I've done it this, this way in the past and it's done the same thing to me but I was just too naive and thought it would work out, which is dumb. So I ended up finishing that with this, facing the other side with the shear hog and it worked perfectly fine. And then I gave it some M6 threads. Some more stock came in. For the big piece, the top side piece, we'll call it the top side piece. And it was, I got four pieces that were one inch by two and a half inches and 14 inches long. Four pieces for $45 from eBay. And this guy is awesome. I keep using him over and over again. He just has a bunch of different stock sizes all ready to go and he ships them the next day. So awesome. So if you ever want aluminum stock, go to this guy on eBay. And the link is in the description below. Then I finished machining the top part of this product. <laughs> finally got to try out my new engraving mill and this thing is cool. I went a little bit deeper than I should have but it's still all work in progress and it still made a pretty fine fine looking cut with the, the logo on the top of that product there. So it turned out really good for a prototype and I'm going to have this guy try it this upcoming week and hopefully he gets it on this week and I can make the final tweaks and whatever and then I can make the fixture for this thing and start pumping them out as fast as I can because I've learned that they sell. I mean, if they're fairly cheap. I mean, everybody else has double the price that I have, well, counting shipping, and everything is almost double, and I don't understand that, so I guess I just like making parts, but that's just me. But I think that's it for now. Catch you next Friday. Thanks for watching.